YouTube, how's it going? Frogs Angels is back with some more NFL team by team record predictions for the 2018 NFL season. We're going team by team and we're going to break down game by game their whole schedule, predicting each game. And we're going to go through all the teams. Uh, first video was the Bills. This is the second video. We're going to go through the AFC East teams, then go through the NFC East teams, back and forth, AFC, NFC. Till we get through all the teams, then we're going to be set with uh, playoffs, and we're going to predict the playoffs, and then on to the Super Bowl. Then we'll have some uh, award predictions eventually. So we're going to get through these uh, one to two uploads a day on, on these. Um, so, yeah, using using this website, playoffpredictors.com. Great website, very useful. Um helps us a lot with with this and it even shows uh, all the team's records on the sides and it'll save it so when we're done we'll be set with all the team's records there very useful site go check it out link in the description you can predict uh predict your every team if you want honestly your team any team the whole schedule so we're going to break it down here before we get into the dolphins my thoughts on them uh, i mean tan hill's back obviously a great thing for them hopefully the injury, uh, recent injury, wasn't isn't a problem going forward. Uh, Kenyon Drake liked his game at the end of last year. I was surprised they picked up Frank Gore, but that still, I mean, it still helps. Uh, I thought they drafted pretty well the last two years, honestly. Two years ago, or 2016 draft, I thought that was pretty good on defense. I really liked their defense. Very balanced. Um, obviously, I don't know if there's any stars on their defense, but it, it's very balanced. Love the secondary. Plenty of depth, especially on that D-line, too. Plenty of depth. Uh, you, you never can have enough of those types of guys. They trade for Robert Quinn, a uh, solid linebacker unit. I, I really like this defense. You know, no huge playmakers, but a lot of good guys, a lot of depth to uh, to help them win games. I'm not predicting a great year for them. I mean, I haven't looked at the schedule yet. I'm kind of doing this live with you guys, but we'll see. We'll see uh, how I have them finishing here. It's really on Tannehill. Big part of it's on Tannehill, obviously. Can he stay healthy? Can he can he play at a at a high level? Has he even in the past has he ever got to that high level? I'm not really sure, but he was starting to enter maybe his prime, so we'll see if he can get into it. Uh, Titans at Dolphins week one. I mentioned this in the Bills video. Week one is just impossible to predict in the NFL. It tells us nothing about the rest of the year, so you can't really take away anything from week one. Um, but who's the better team here? I mean, the Dolphins are home. Home field advantage helps, but I think the Titans are the better team. Um, and I'm really looking forward to watching the Titans this year. I think their offense will be much upgraded uh, play calling wise, and then Mariota should start to enter his prime maybe. I think I think Titans are a good team this year, and uh, the Dolphins' defense could help them win this game, but I got the Titans. Again, week one, very hard to predict. So who knows? Dolphins at Jets. Even though it's in New York here, um, I'm going to take the Dolphins. I, I would like if the Jets... We'll discuss it more when we get to the Jets video, but they're heading in the right direction, I guess. Defensively, got some young talent. Uh, still need a lot of upgrades on offense, but they got Darnold for the future. Will he be good right away? That's another question. I think the Dolphins are the better team, even though they're away. I, I will take the Dolphins, but the Jets could win that game. Raiders at the Dolphins. Another that's, That could be a good game here. Um, I think, man... In Miami makes it makes it a really good game, I think. But uh, I think they can struggle against Khalil Mack in this game. And I think the Raiders have enough offense to uh, to obviously take the lead and win this game. So I'll, I'll take the Raiders here. I think they're the better team. Uh, Dolphins at Patriots. I obviously expect the Patriots to win that game. Um, even though the Dolphins can win the game, I'd be pretty much a fool to pick against the Patriots in any sort of game like that. Uh, Dolphins at the Bengals. It's a good one. It's a good one. I, I think they're pretty even teams. Maybe the Dolphins get a slight edge, but it's in Cincinnati, so that can go either way. Um, I think ugh, it's tough. It's tough. I, 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 I'll take the Dolphins here. I'll take the Dolphins here. I, I think uh, I think they're the better team, but in Cincinnati could go either way. Uh, and then Bears, Bears at Dolphins. It's a tough one. I think the Bears will be upgraded this year. I think they'll be a better team, but they're still young. It's it's tough. A lot of these games are going to be close, I think, as of now. I mean, things are going to change as preseason goes on, as, as the regular season goes on. Bears at Dolphins. This is the toughest one yet. 
I'll I'll take the Dolphins. I like their defense at home against the Bears. Maybe Trubisky. I think he'll be better this year, much better than he was last year. But I mean, against solid defenses, solid secondaries, uh, he could struggle away a little bit. So I'll take the Dolphins. Uh, Lions at Dolphins, another NFC North team, could go either way. Oh man, D- these ones are so close. These ones are. I think the Lions. Honestly, I think the Lions defense isn't going to be as good this year. I think it could struggle a little bit. I know they got Matt Patricia in there, and that should help it overall. But I think it may take a year or two. I think they – man, I'll t- I'm going to take the Dolphins here at home. I think that being home against these two NFC North teams, NFC North very good division, I think being home is a big-time factor here. Uh, in Houston, it's a Thursday night game, obviously, uh, with that TH right there. And I, if Texans are healthy, they're better. I'll take the Texans. Uh, again, I already expressed my feelings that I think the Dolphins are easily better than the Jets. Maybe not easily, but they're better. Dolphins at Packers, uh, another NFC North matchup. The Packers are a better team, and they're at home. I think even though I like the Dolphins' defense, I think the Packers got too much offense with Aaron Rodgers. Week 11 is the bye week. Week 12, they're playing in Indianapolis. Will, I discussed this in the Bills one too, will, this is a little later, Dolphins will play the Colts a little later in the Bills, will Andrew Luck be healthy week 12? I mean, I hate bringing up people's uh, players' health, because I hope the guy stays healthy, obviously, but uh, it's a a legitimate question, will he be on the field in week 12? That's a legitimate question. Uh, I think he's good to go for this year, well, obviously for the start of the year. Uh, The Colts are, the Colts are still in somewhat of a rebuild, I think, um, Maybe the Dolphins' offense will struggle at sometimes at times this year, but I think they'll be able to score on the Colts. Uh, the Colts' defense and their defense will be able to uh, limit the Colts' offense. So I'll take the Dolphins there, um, and then Buffalo in Miami. I'll take Miami there. I think they're better and they're at home. I'll take the Patriots against the Dolphins. I'll take the Vikings against the Dolphins. Jaguars. It's in Miami. Depends on what type of Jaguars team we'll get this year, but we know we know what they will get on the defensive side. They're uh, elite defense, so I'll take the Jaguars there in that matchup, even though it's in Miami, still close to home for the Jaguars. And then Miami in Buffalo, um, I I did pick the Bills in this one. Um, will it matter when they're sitting at seven eight? Could, but uh, and we'll see. The AFC compared to the NFC, I think the NFC is. Uh, stronger so the AFC maybe a team gets in with their record but I picked Buffalo in the Buffalo one at home but it could change depending on if the Bills are aren't really playing for anything the Dolphins are that could that could change a little bit uh, so seven and nine I'm the I'm thinking at seven eight range um, some games I yeah, like I said it'll be close I think that Raiders Raiders Dolphins game in week three could go either way um, but then the, I had three three games in a row there Week five, six, and seven, I think could go either way, and I gave all three to the Dolphins, and they're still finishing at seven and nine. I think week twelve will be close against the Colts, and I gave the edge of the Dolphins. So, um, that looking at that, that could mean best case is around that seven eight wins range. I mean, it's possible they can win nine games. I just don't think so. Um, so I have seven and nine. Again, a lot, a lot of those games, six seven range week range or five six seven they could they really can go either way um things changing as preseason or as training camp and preseason goes on so uh maybe my mind will change after we get through this maybe i'll make uh one final video on everybody's record combined so we'll keep going through team by team my opinion right now so this is what i got seven and nine let me know what your guys thoughts are if you're a dolphins fan if not uh go ahead and go to this website playoffpredictor.com predictors.com make your predictions see what you got we're going to keep going through uh, team by team and see what i what i come away with here should be interesting so stay tuned for the rest of the teams our subscriber goals 10k subscribers so if you haven't clicked that button yet we much appreciate it if you did so and don't forget to click that like button if you enjoyed the video or any of our content that'll do it for this one we got plenty more content on the channel and more on the way Stay tuned for the rest of these teams. Like I said, either one or two uploads of these record predictions a day. Going to try to get through them. Uh, promise some other content before the NFL season starts. So we're going to try to try to get through all of it. But that'll do it for this one. Goodbye.